Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good because I'm doing amazing. <laughs> so today's chat is going to be about Ginny Mai. If you guys don't know who Ginny Mai is, Ginny Mai is a TV presenter and a talk show host, okay? She's one of those people who over the years have been in the news for one thing they said or one thing they didn't say, <laughs> okay? But basically, Ginny Mai is one of those women who have been very vocal about the fact that they never want to have kids. She was married for close to 10 years or over 10 years you know, to her ex-husband and she didn't want kids. In fact, one of the major reasons why they broke up was because he really started to want kids and she didn't want kids, even though initially... Anyway, I'm going to get into the backstory, but yeah, just know that Ginny Mai is now remarried. She's married to Jeezy and now she is pregnant, okay? And so many people, you know, we are on her case. They were like, why is she now pregnant? Why didn't she just say that her ex-husband ex was the problem? You know, why, is she, why did she change her mind after making noise for so long that she wasn't going to have kids? She has misled a lot of women and all that, okay? So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing all of these, but I'm going to be doing my makeup while I chat with you guys. So you can also be doing your makeup with me. If you're watching this in the morning or when you're getting ready, you can, you know, do your makeup with me. Or you can just go and grab your popcorn, grab your snacks and come and sit down and watch me do my makeup, okay? <laughs> anyway, so for people who don't know, Ginny Mai, like I said, is a talk show host and she was a TV presenter as well. Where I first knew about Ginny Mai was on the show, um, How Do I Look? Like, I loved her so much on that show. She was such a bubbly personality. What I love about her is that generally she's very bubbly, she's very happy you know very loving kind of person you can tell just by watching her that she's someone that likes life she's someone that you know loves genuine she's kind of i'll call her a genuine soul you know kind of people that don't know how to i won't say just know how to lie but i'll say that she's someone that is very open she's an open book so it's kind of person that if you really study her if you really watch her you will really know the kind of person that she is then from there, she moved over to The Real as a host on The Real. The Real is a daytime, you know, talk show. So she was on The Real with Tamara. I love Tamara so much. So it was Ginny or it is, uh, she's, yeah, Ginny is still there. Ginny, Lonnie, Adrian, Tamara and Tamara and Tema. Okay, sorry. Tamara and Tema. Tema left first, then Tamara left. So now they brought one other lady and then, you know, Ginny is still there and all of that. So on that show, Ginny was very, very vocal about the fact that she never wanted kids. She wasn't going to have kids ever, ever, ever. You know, then she was married to Freddie. And according to their story, she told Freddie when she first met him that she wasn't going to have kids. And he was okay with it. I mean, he just loved her so much and he was okay with not wanting to have kids. I don't think it was... I don't think he himself didn't want to have kids. I think that... It was a case of, okay, I love this woman so much and she says she doesn't want to have kids, so let me just go with the flow, okay? Or maybe he actually genuinely thought that he could, you know, be with her without wanting to have kids, okay? So on the show, she was always saying it, that she never wanted to have kids. She doesn't see herself as a mom. She saw herself more like an auntie, like that fly auntie, you know, that rich auntie. And she has that uh, fun auntie vibe. She's that kind of person that you're sure, ah, if this one takes my kids out, they will have so much fun. So for the longest time, she said that was what she wanted. She didn't want kids. She didn't want kids. Anyway, you guys get the drill. She didn't want kids, okay? So I think fast forward to towards the end of their marriage, I think... She now started seeing that longing in her husband that he wanted kids. He never verbally said it. According to her, he didn't come out and say, okay, now I want kids, let's try and have kids. But I think that his stance was now changing. She could tell that, you know, this guy really wants kids. The way he used to look at people's kids when they go out, the way he used to behave, you know, when they talk about kids and stuff like that. I think, basically, if you're not a selfish partner, you will know that something has changed, basically. If you are very observant, you will know that something has changed with your partner, you know. So, she observed this and she felt really bad and she was like, I know they were having other marital issues. One thing I realized about them, one thing that was, that really stuck out to me. Because for the longest time, they were always on the show as, you know, this loving couple. But I felt like their relationship was a bit awkward. I don't know why. If you guys used to watch The Real, let me know in the comment section if you got those vibes from them. I felt like there was something off about their relationship. I mean, obviously, everybody has problems in their relationship. So I didn't see it as a very big deal. He was that person that she really loved so much as her friend. But when it comes to that sexual, you know, companionship kind of relationship, I didn't really get the vibes that she saw him that way that much. 
simply because of the kind of things she used to say and how they were always happy apart or something like that. Like, you know, she loved her space so much and he was always traveling too. He was traveling for work as well. And, you know, she loved that. I don't know how to explain it, anyway. So, um, those are the vibes I was getting. But again, like I said, I did not take it seriously. I just saw it as um, every relationship has their own dynamics, has their own issues. Some people are actually happier, you know, separately, but they spend the rest of their lives together. So, anyway, so I think shortly after she made this realization, she just decided to let him go and she filed for divorce. Okay, so keep that in mind. Ginny is the one that filed for divorce. Freddy is not the one that filed for divorce. Freddy never actually said he wanted kids, even though I'm sure he did not say he didn't want either. But just keep it in mind that she was the one that decided to end things with him. And he didn't cheat, nothing, nothing. There was no, there was no bad blood or no story of him cheating or being unfaithful. So after the relationship ended, shortly after, as God will have it, Fred met, you know, a partner and she got pregnant and they had a child they had a daughter you know and yeah so things worked out for fred thankfully thank god he didn't do any permanent solution to not wanting to have kids you know he just didn't have kids with her like he didn't go and start getting a vasectomy or anything like that unlike some foolish women that a man will tell you he doesn't want to have children you two you can remove your womb you can tie your womb because he said he doesn't want to have children eh? like is it that all the bed controls have finished? And you don't have kids yourself. You know, it's a different case if you finish having your kids and you two you don't want kids. But this one, you've not even had kids, but you're going to tie womb for a man. Or maybe you've had just one and you're going to tie womb for a man, knowing deep down in your heart that you want more kids. Yeah, that reminds me. Ginny is Asian while Freddy is a white man, okay? So this time he got married to a white girl and, you know, they had a perfect little family. I don't, I don't have any, I don't think they had any issues. It was at some point that, you know, the wife was trying to fight for Freddy when Ginny was saying some things about, she was insinuating that Freddy was, you know, kind of um, fighting dirty, like he wanted to get some of her assets and stuff like that, or the, he, he didn't want to share the assets well or something. I don't know what the issue is, because Freddy comes from a wealthy home, not really that wealthy, but I mean, they had assets, while Ginny doesn't come from a wealthy home. So I think they were fighting for the house or something, but it wasn't, it didn't last for long, like they didn't, they didn't dwell on it too much. Um, yeah, so that was the issue then for a while. Um, so yeah, this is not about Freddy. Freddy's part ended well for him. We, we thank the Lord. Okay, we thank the Lord. <laughs> now, shortly after she, you know, not that short, maybe like one year after she left Freddy, uh, Jenny started dating Jeezy. I don't know. I think Jeezy is called Young Jeezy or used to be called Young Jeezy. To be honest, I didn't know Jeezy. I knew the name, but I didn't know who he was or anything. Or if you ask me one music that he sang, now nah, me, I don't know, but... I just know that Jeezy was, you know, an artist and he started dating Jeannie and uh, it was such a big deal when he started dating Jeannie because Jeannie had made comments about liking rappers, black rappers, while she was um, married, okay? She has made comments about, you know, having her dark meat on the side. Even though when I watched that thing, I genuinely felt like she just, it was a slip of tongue. It wasn't like she really meant it. But she talked about, you know, liking white meat, but having her dark meat on the side and stuff like that. So uh, when she now started dating Jeezy, it was not like, eh, hey, that now she has gotten her real soulmates, that she has always been into black rappers. Because Jeannie, okay, Jeannie is from, um, I think her father is from, her mother is from China and her mother is from Vietnam or something, okay? Yeah, so, but they came to the U.S., you know, when they were young. I think she was born in the U.S., but her father, you know, came to the U.S., got married to the mom, and then had them. So, they grew up in the hood, you know, so she's very conversant with, you know, hood culture and rap and black culture to an extent because she grew up with blacks as well. People were not like, ah, finally, she has gotten the man for her, you know, that is, is a black rapper that she really wanted all this while. She didn't really like you know, um, Freddy and all of that. Yeah, so they started dating and then they now got married and everybody was like, eh? So Ginny will get married because a lot of people thought that, you know, part of the reason why she even left him was, left Freddy was she didn't really want marriage. She wanted to just be single and popping, you know, that kind of thing now. But yeah, she now got married to Jeezy and I want to, everybody was like, eh, 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 eh. Then fast forward to a few weeks ago or is it a few months ago a few weeks ago i don't think it's up to maybe 
two months maximum she now announced that she's pregnant and hey, hey the internet wanted to scatter <laughs> the internet blew up people were like eh Jean is pregnant like even me I remember when i heard it i wasn't surprised but i was surprised okay i wasn't surprised because I always tell people, never say never, okay? Never say never. When you're saying, I will never do this, I will never... Especially when it's not something, you know, very negative. You never say never because things might change. You might come upon new information. Things might happen differently for you. Things might just change in your life and you'll be in a different headspace where that thing you said never for becomes a reality for you, okay? And listening to Jinimai's reasoning, that's exactly what happened. I'm sure when she said she never wanted to have kids, I'm sure she really believed it. Even though then, a lot of people were like, no, she's just saying it because she doesn't really want to have kids with Freddie. A lot of people were saying that she's just deceiving herself. You know, that's the part that I don't really agree with. If a woman says she doesn't want kids, please respect that, okay? Don't try to make it look like there's something wrong with her or, you know, she doesn't want to have kids. Maybe there's a reason why she doesn't want to. There's some women that genuinely don't want to have kids, okay? But at the same time, what I don't support is people that can do irreversible um, procedures when they are younger because they don't want to have kids. Like you say, you don't want to have you don't want to have kids at twenty five. You can't remove your womb. Eh, that's one of the, uh, I can never support. It. I don't care who, what your reasoning is. I'll never ever 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 support it except if it was for medical reasons why you had to remove your womb. If it wasn't medical reasons that could lead to death or whatever. If you are removing your womb because I don't want to have kids, so let me just go and remove my womb. There's no, I, I have no use for it. My dear sister. I don't care how old you are, I mean, as long as you've not had kids before, making that decision to me is too drastic. It's such a drastic life-changing decision that, ah, I beg, I can't even imagine it. Everybody was like, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. But you said, but you said, 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 receipts started flying everywhere. Like, on the this of this, Jenny Mai specifically said, you know, everybody was like, you see, why did she now divorce Freddie if she knew she was going to eventually want to have kids? Why did she divorce Freddie? Because remember, like I said, she's the one that filed for divorce. It wasn't him, you know. So why did she, why didn't she just make it work with Freddie? Freddie was such a good man to her. Freddie really allowed that. But true, Freddie was good to her. Like, I won't even lie because she even said it herself. Except maybe now she wants to change her mouth and say, no, he wasn't. She said it well. I said that Freddie was like, you know, the best thing to ever happen to her. He truly allowed her be herself, to go for her dreams. He supported her in any way possible. So people are like, you, you know, she did, she did Freddie dirty after giving up so much for her. In the end, she divorced him and then now she's pregnant for another man. Why not for Freddie? You know, so some people even accused her of having a fetish. That the reason why she wanted, you know, um, Jeezy was because she was, she's in love with black rappers and she wanted Blasian kids, you know, black and Asian. I felt a little bit bad for Freddie, knowing that he's not the one that filed for that divorce. But like I said, Freddie was really lucky. Things worked out for him. He got married and he had a new children of his own. So yesterday, Jeannie now released a video where she explained, you know, why she changed her mind about having kids. Um, and the reason she gave actually made sense to me. Okay, one of the reasons she gave for not wanting to have kids was the fact that she was abused as a child and to her, her mom did not defend her. Her mom did not even believe her. Even though later on in life, when she confronted her mom, her mom said she believed her. She, the mom even actually went and confronted the guy, but the mom did not like let Jeannie know that she confronted the guy or that she actually believed Jeannie. Even though behind the scenes she did, but to the guy, she did not... To Ginny, she didn't, she didn't protect Ginny. Let me put it that way. She didn't protect Ginny. She didn't show Ginny that she really cared or she believed her. And I, I, I think Ginny said that even the guy used to come. Because the guy was actually um, Ginny Mai's mom's brother. Okay? Mama Mai's brother. So, it was her uncle, basically. So, the man used to come around for family events and stuff like that. So, ah, that one was really bad, though. I mean, why would you not, you know, protect your child or let your child know that? okay you are safe with me you are safe at home because basically Ginny did not feel safe at home anymore she said she talked about how she used to go and hide under her bed because of the man like she went through a lot okay so i understand that feeling of not wanting to have kids because you don't want to repeat the cycle and she felt like she wasn't you know strong enough to protect 
her child. Like she felt like if she had a child, she wouldn't be able to protect that child because she's someone who I, I could relate with her so much when I watched that her video. She's someone who people could easily bully. She's not someone who used to stand up for herself that much. Even on TV, even on the show. I remember for the longest time, people were like, Tema was bullying Ginny on the real. You know, Tema used to talk down on her, used to dismiss some of her th some of the things Ginny said, used to mock her, you know, stuff like that. And Ginny would always take it with a smiley face and laugh and, you know, just cover it up, okay? And people were like, why is Ginny taking this nonsense from this? Like, if it's me, I would have given her a this, I would have told her that. And I can totally relate because I know that I'm like that to an extent. I don't know if, if being abused as a child has anything to do with it. Maybe. But to an extent, I'm like that. I'm not someone who is quick to stand up for myself. Although I'm quick to stand up for my children, but for myself, I'm not. I'm not quick to stand up for myself. I'm telling verbally in a verbal altercation, I'm not someone who. I'll just. I'll just keep quiet, or I move on, or I change topic, or I'm not someone who knows how to verbally battle people, or even physically. Okay, if it's that, okay, we're typing in here, we're writing, where and I can express myself very well without stuttering, without stammering, without crying. I can do that, but when it comes to physical altercations, I can't sometimes, so if I'm really, really, depends on how angry I am, because I'm not someone that gets angry easily, so I need to summon up enough anger for me to be able to defend myself verbally when somebody's attacking me verbally. If not, I'm just going to let it go, I'm just going to let it slide, and people will be like, how is she letting it slide, okay? So yeah, um, I could relate with that part when Ginny was saying that she's not someone that, that there are so many situations where she was bullied, you know, verbally and all of that. And she didn't stand up for herself, so she felt like if she can't stand up for herself at this age, is it not her children she will stand up for, you know? So she didn't even want kids because basically she didn't want a child that she would traumatize. And I really applaud her for that. Like, let us applaud Ginny for that because to be honest, eh, a lot of people that have kids today do not are not supposed to have kids. They're not supposed to. Like, it is glaring that you shouldn't have had kids. I mean, having kids generally is a selfish decision. But some people, eh, they are not supposed to even have that luxury of having that selfish decision because they are too selfish that they can't even put that child above themselves. Everything is always about them, about their feelings, about how they, you know, how they see life. Everything is always about them. So such people, mm -mm, they shouldn't have had kids. So I applaud her for realizing that where she was, where she was mentally or, you know, emotionally, she wasn't capable of taking care of children. So... For me, I really applaud her for that because I feel like more women, more people need that realization. They need that self-awareness. You need to, you know, be able to tell yourself the truth because most people don't, many people don't tell themselves the truth, you know. And now that she's in a relationship where she feels safe, she feels more secure, she has overcome some of those, you know, traumas because, like I said, she confronted her mom on camera, like... It was not just, just a one, you know, video thing or a one-time thing. I think they saw, they saw therapist or something, but she really, really confronted her trauma and what happened, you know, with her mom and her childhood and all of that. She really confronted, him, confronted it. So after that, she now realized that, okay, now I'm in a better place to actually bring in another human being into my life and take care of that human being, okay? That is her child, okay? Her new car, like she called it, you know, the child. So um yeah i really applaud her for going through that so many of us need therapy okay a lot of us need therapy but we're in denial that's just the truth the way you blow up on your children the way you treat your children the way you transfer aggression to people around you the way you act the way you you know things that you do shows that you need therapy but you don't know you feel like you're just you're just a uh, 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 it's just my kind of person uh -uh. many of us need therapy okay and it's not just people who blow up or you know who act in a certain way people who also do not like like Ginny, like in my own case and Ginny's case people who do not behave the way you expect like maybe when something is burning people that instead of them to quench the fire they just you know step back or something like that that can also be um you know a result of trauma as well which you need to confront okay there's so many things that i i decide within my head that is not worth my energy so i just let go of it which to an extent is good because it means that I have my peace of mind. I'm generally a peaceful person. Like I'm generally a happy, a happy person. But the downside is that there are times when you need that fight spirit, okay? You need to push back, okay? You don't need to keep dismissing everything as unimportant. Some things are actually important. So, yeah. So, people like us too actually need therapy as well, okay? So, that brings me to the next thing which I want to talk about. And that is the fact that people are allowed to change their minds now. Okay, yeah, she said she wasn't going to have kids. She broke up with Freddie. She did this, she did that. Okay. But now she has changed her mind. 
get with it, get with the program, okay? Is she your child? Even if she's your child, self, is she your is she your wife? You know, <laughs> is she your wife? Is, she, is it your child that she's having? So why are you upset? Okay, you don't know. Like even before she came out to say this thing, you don't know why she changed her mind. It might be that everything she's even saying self is crap. Maybe the truth is that she, her birth control failed and she discovered that she was pregnant and decided to keep the pregnancy. You know, you don't know. So why is it? Why are you coming here to now say, but it's this, but it's that? Okay. Yes, people are allowed to change. We don't need to cancel people permanently for things that they do, you know, when they are younger. People are allowed to change. People are allowed to grow. People are allowed to change their minds. Yes, I didn't want kids. I didn't want... Uh, okay, now I want kids, okay? People are allowed to change their mind. People are allowed to say, I never want to get married. I never want to get married. And then in the end, you see her getting married. She's allowed to change her mind. People are, are allowed to say, you know what? I don't need a man. I don't need a man. And then tomorrow, they are married and they are housewives and they are, you know, homemakers. They are this and that. They are just, you know... Yeah. They are allowed to change their mind, okay? You don't know them. Like I said, you don't know that her decision to get pregnant was just a mistake you don't know but now she has come to give us a full video explaining her you know backstory and all of that and people be like oh, okay oh like even me i was like oh but that might not even be true okay i'm just saying i'm not saying it's not true but i'm saying that might not even be true when so-called feminists let me not call them feminists when so-called man haters you know end up getting married you see people saying things like after deceiving young girls after this after that <laughs> and i'm like it's not the person's fault it's those young girls fault for not having sense okay teach your children god forbid that i leave social media people to to raise my kids or to teach my kids the right thing okay teach your kids the right thing Th teach your kids to learn to to think for themselves okay teach yourself to think for yourself you're an adult you don't have that excuse of course we are influenced by what we see what we hear people we like people we love of course i'm not saying that we are all bulletproof i'm not saying i'm bulletproof like i get influenced too by people but it's to an extent too there are things that i can never get influenced by like i'm sorry i don't care how you want to do it like for instance smoking there's not there's no way you want to influence me that will make me go and carry you know cigarette and start smoking or shisha or uh, well, all those things people smoke or e-cigs or whatever or weed you know there's no kind of influence you want to influence me that will make me go and smoke it you know that's just the kind of person i am okay so i can watch a million and one people do it without partaking in it okay the other day i went to a club and i was like worst decision ever i'm never doing this again it doesn't mean that if someone does pass in the club, I will not go. I might go, but that me on my own now, oh, I'm now influenced. I've not turned to a club goer. It's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. So, um, what am I even trying to say? So, what I'm trying to say is that people need to learn how to make decisions for themselves and be confident in your decisions. One thing about me here is that I'm not someone who comes out to, you know, say, oh, I'm confident, I'm confident. But I know that I'm a very confident person in the sense that I don't need to prove to you anything about myself that is part of the reason why i don't you know fight for myself sometimes okay not all the time sometimes what i don't fight for myself is that i just feel like you're so irrelevant like okay so you want me now to start telling you uh, the reason why i'm doing this is because of that like you want me to come and start proving myself to you so that you accept me i don't need your acceptance take your body acceptance and go and shove it up your you know you know where to shove it <laughs> You know, I don't need your bloody acceptance. I don't need you to see me in a certain light. I'm going to do what I want to do, what I feel like doing when I want to do it, okay? You know, there's this thing people want to do now that everybody wants to seem woke. So people, like, people try to say certain things. People try to do certain things that make them seem, seem woke or hip or... I don't need to do that. I don't care. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not woke. I'm asleep. I'm very, very asleep. I'm enjoying my sleep. Leave it for me like that, okay? This reminds me of when Linda Ikeji got pregnant and people were like, eh? So Linda Ikeji has man in her life after talking about how she doesn't need a man, how she's self-made, how she's this. And I'm like, I've been listening to Linda Ikeji. I don't think I ever heard her say that she doesn't want a man or that she doesn't need a man in her life. I don't think I ever saw that. What I saw was where she talked about being self-made, not needing a man to take care of her in terms of money and all of that. But I remember she talked about, you know, wanting to get married and have a family and start a family and all of that. So, to me, it wasn't shocking, but many people were shocked. Many people were like, how dare she? How dare she? And I'm like, what are you talking about? That even reminds me, even me, Seth, when I got pregnant with my last child, okay? If you guys are following me for a while, you know that I got pregnant suddenly. It was actually a, you know, an unplanned pregnancy. My IUD failed, okay? Well, my IUD failed, it came out, and then I didn't go back to put it, you know, immediately, and then I fell pregnant because I did not calculate where. Anyway, I remember when I announced my pregnancy, some people came and told me things like, after seeing you never have another child, 
So why are you deceiving people? Something like that. After deceiving people. I was like, eh? On top of my life again. So I cannot come out and say I don't want to have another child again. Like, it is actually deceived. Like, I'm deceiving somebody. Did me and you do packs together? We did me and you sit down one and decide that, okay, you know what? We're never going to have kids, uh, more kids, okay? Did me and you do any packs together? Like, I don't even get that concept of me telling me that I'm deceiving people by saying that I don't want more kids. Like, are you okay? <laughs> it's all well. Are you sure everything is fine with you mentally? You know? How? So let's even say I didn't, you know, get pregnant mistakenly and all of that. I just say, you know, for the longest time I said I'm, I wasn't going to have more kids and all of that. And then, let's say today now, I now decide, you know what? I need another baby. So I cannot have another baby on my own because I've already said that I, that I will not have more kids. Because I've told people on social media that I said I will not have more kids. So even when let's say now me and my husband now decide, you know what? Maybe we can have another child. Maybe we have space for another child. I now decide to get pregnant. It's, it's, it's a bad thing. <laughs> My dear, talk another one. I bet that one no enter. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Maybe I'm the one that is just, you know, blabbing. Maybe I'm not making sense. Maybe, yes, Ginny shouldn't have had more kids because she said she will not have kids. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that it's people who are saying that she deceived people, do you think that they have a point? Did Ginny actually deceive people by saying she's not going to have kids? I don't even think it's about people. Like, it's not about you. Me saying I don't want to have kids, it's not about you, it's not, I don't, like, for me, most times, I don't think anybody cares about what you think or how you, whether you, you, you want kids or not want kids because of my decision. I don't think people are thinking about you when they are making decisions in their lives, so it's not about you. So, that she changed her mind, it's not supposed to be about you as well, you know? It's funny how people will just be out here living their lives, and then, other people will be having headache for them, like, I don't get it, you know? Just be happy for her and move on. Like I said, when women come and say they don't want to have kids, I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> you know, I don't go and start commenting on their videos or whatever. I don't even comment. Like, I've seen someone that even showed where she was having his telectomy or whatever. I didn't even comment on that video. Like, I, I mean, it's not my business. Like, now your body, now you go regret them if you, if you ever regret it. It's not going to be me regretting it, okay? But, you know, somewhere in my mind, I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> So, when I see people saying things like, people saying things like, I don't want to have kids. Even when I'm having kids, eh? when I see people saying things like, I don't even want to have a partner. I don't want to ever get married. I don't want to have a partner. I just want to be single and enjoy my life. I don't want to, uh, when I hear all of that, I'm like, good for you, sis, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, you might just be in a different headspace right now. In the future, you might have to change your mind, okay? Just know that changing your mind is a possibility is all I'm trying to say. Have it at the back of your mind when you're saying you're never going to get married. Have it somewhere in your mind that you might meet somebody tomorrow and the person is going to rock your world. The person is going to shake your entire existence. <laughs> The person is going to turn all your philosophies and ideologies on its head and you're going to be like, you know what? I'm, let's do this, okay? Let's do this. I want to have your babies, you know? It happens, so just never say never like I always say. All right, guys, that's it. I'm done with my makeup now. Um, yeah, I'm actually supposed to film another video right now. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about today's topic. Okay, let me know your thoughts about Ginny Mai and her deciding to have a baby after she had shouted for yes, I don't want Pekin, I don't want Pekin. Now nah, she can't get Pekin when she can't miss Jizzy, okay? Or maybe it's just that once you go black, you don't, you don't go back. <laughs> Maybe she just grew and she has overcome some things and she has changed her mind, okay? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. I actually enjoyed this chit chat. I think I'll try and get more chit chats like this that has to do with actual people and actual situations. Um, yeah, and I'll refine it a bit so that I'll be more direct, as in I'll have more focus because here yeah, I was just blabbing, like I really did not jot down any notes or anything like that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.